Hello, my friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. So, guys, something in this the powers that be don't want getting out. There must have been some connection we had going on because uh, I have not had any technical issues for months, 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 months. And my sound was turned off as I recorded this already. Not only that, but I went and checked and my security was turned off on the computer as well. So, you know, we're shifting to back to a different pattern now with the powers that be. Um, interesting. It is interesting. So we see mysterious lights hovering over Mesa skies, Mesa, Arizona, Sunday night puzzle residence. And if you watch this, these are orange globes, um, orbs of energy, perhaps. To me, they look more energetic uh, than solid. But, you know, each each has to make up their own mind on this. Um, pretty cool because of I don't want to get a copyright strike as has happened in the past. I, I don't play the video, um, but you could see this light hovering there. And then it basically drops out of it other lights, which end up just kind of disappearing. Who knows where they went? So this was filmed by this couple, and they both filmed it on their cell phones. And they said other neighbors were out just standing there looking up at the sky, completely stupefied as to what was going on. Um, very interesting. You know, this right off the bat, it reminded me of two things. For one, this color uh, and this type of orb reminded me so much of one that we saw over in Charleston. Well, Kiowa Island, to be exact. And uh, if we look, there have been a ton. This is the National UFO Reporting Center State Report for Arizona. In the last like week and a half, two weeks, there have been a ton of reports, a ton. And, you know, interesting ones. We have a green round light falling to Earth. We have a bright round light shooting towards land. We have three lights above McDowell Mountains changing colors rapidly. And then there was a lot that people think might be the Starlink satellites. A whole bunch of them. You see a string of moving satellite-like dots in the sky above Mesa. Perfect line going from southwest to northeast. Uh, there was a line of lights floating, not very fast, some closer together than others from the southwest to the northeast. 30-plus formation over northwest Tucson at 6 a.m., a train of lights crosses the Big Dipper about 6 a.m. So obviously a lot of people are seeing the same thing. This person counted 56 lights in a row. Uh, yeah, another one, fleet of 50 UFOs, over 100 UFOs traveling along the same flight path early hours of 1123. Large orb, neon, fiery green. Uh, one to four bright orange hovering lights fading in and out while staying in the same location over Phoenix. Another one was sitting in their hot tub in Benson, witnessed a round object with proportionally spaced white lights go by about 500 to 1,000 feet high. No sound. Another one, Glendale's sister and I were in backyard watching the stars, also waiting for the meteor shower, and then they saw a UFO. It, you know, there's just a ton of them. And a lot of them are lights going in a straight line. Very interesting that we, we're seeing so many reports going on. And uh, like I said, you know, this reminded me of this one, which is in Charleston on Kiowa Island. And it's the same sort of color. And this one, well, you know, as I watched this, it looked to me like it might be more of a being, perhaps. Uh, than an actual ship or maybe something that's you know interdimensional as well and it has a gyroscopic uh, way about it when you look at it the way it's spinning and all and so it gets me thinking of the Merkaba and the Merkaba is basically a light body uh, and when that's fully activated we we can travel into different dimensions as well as like anywhere in this dimension almost instantaneously and this the Merkaba is talked about in the Kabbalah and Hebrew mysticism and the Western mystery t tradition as well 
Um, but the whole idea of the light body is something that is in pretty much all the traditions. Of course, it's been suppressed. So very fascinating when we see this. And um, I do have some other, other pictures of it as well. And again, this was in Kiowa Island, South Carolina. And this was like a year ago, just about a year ago. It was on uh, Christmas Eve of last year. And then when I sh talked about this, I made a video of this a year ago. Uh, I did get video in from a lady in Texas that saw the exact same thing, only it was white. It wasn't this um, kind of orangish color. It was perfectly white, but it was the exact same object, exact same type of thing uh, that we see. And, you know, this is again all about that one on Kiowa Island. This is out of the New York Post. So there's a couple of videos for you guys to, to look at with this. Um, really interesting stuff. You know, my feeling is it again, it might be alive more than a ship. And what are your thoughts, Cindy? My thoughts are it is some sort of a biological thing where it, it's used something to come into this, to the ether on this side. It does feel alive. It feels very alive to me, um, and benevolent to me. And so when we were with our, um, our good friend, Netsaya, uh, who you guys know on chat as Soul Reviver. Uh, this is over in Lancaster in California. It was about 1130 in the morning, and we were just having coffee. And he walked over to the door as if, you know, he heard somebody knock on the door. And he looked up into the sky, and he, was, he just said, what the bleep? And, you know, he, he had seen one of these and he called us over at first. Neither of us saw it. And then when we kind of gave our eyes time to adjust, uh, it was a bright blue sky. We saw it and there was three of them there. And it almost felt like they were communicating with us. And it was this exact same type of thing. And, you know, they did feel benevolent. In fact, at first he thought he was seeing angels in the sky. It was pretty cool. He, he thought they were angels and you felt the same sort of um, benevolent energies. I did. I got that really beautiful, blissful, warm feeling that I get sometimes. It was almost like they were giving me a charge. And they seemed like they have wings. It was nice. So very interesting. You know, here's some photos. This is like a, a much better photo where you could see it does have a gyroscopic action to it. And it does look like a wheel within a wheel, almost with perhaps little spokes coming off. Does not look so solid. But, you know, these these are some pictures of the Kiowa object. And to me, this really, it, it feels like the same sort of energy as what we're seeing in there. And then, you know, it gets you thinking about Ezekiel. And, it, you know, if you have read Ezekiel's, Ezekiel 1, 1 through 48, wheels within wheels like a gyroscope so you know my question to you guys are we seeing the same thing that he saw maybe 2800 years ago uh pretty wild because he does describe a couple different things and uh he does describe things in this color but then also that wheels within wheels like a gyroscope so wheels, you see the circular portions here within wheels. And when you watch the video, it has that kind of gyroscopic action. So I, I really, really wonder if we are witnessing the same sort of thing. And of course, you know, in ancient times, they, they didn't understand things like we do. And perhaps we don't understand things like they did either. Uh, you know, that could work both ways. We know that there was advanced technology going way back in time. Um, but so the cherubim and the seraphim you know, are angels, uh, angelic beings. Interesting, you know, seraphim is literally like a fiery serpent. And so, you know, it's fascinating that those words are chose as well. And then cherubim, are we watching something that they labeled perhaps as cherubim or seraphim? Are we seeing something that, you know, others had thought of as perhaps angelic and of course we know you know there are cases in the bible where you couldn't tell angels from humans uh as well so and then also the same thing in other traditions around the world as we talked about 
in the Hindu tradition, they talk about like over 100,000 types of humanoids that are alive in our galaxy alone. And somehow they knew the shape of our galaxy. So, you know, it's it's really fascinating. We know there's soft disclosure going on. We're seeing, you know, giant triangles in the sky, which I totally think are uh, our military. And I do think our military is basically releasing things in a slow, steady uh, pace so that people won't be, you know, <laughs> having heart attacks uh, or not be able to handle it. And again, perhaps if we, you know, realize the technology that we have, maybe we would ask, you know, why is it not out in the public and used in mass? Why, why aren't we saving, you know, lives with the technology that we have? Why are we not, you know, saving money? Why are we not saving the environment? If we can make anti-gravity machines that don't burn fossil fuels, don't contribute to the carbon emissions that they want to tax us on, you know, there'll be an awful lot of questions, and, and that's part of it. I don't think they want to uh, get it all out there at one time where the public will be really upset. But I do think disclosure is underway, and we're seeing evidence of that everywhere we look. So, my friends, as always, like, share, subscribe. I want to get your opinions on this. Check out the full videos. What do you think these things are? What do you think we're, we're seeing? And as always, um, if you are so inclined, please do go ahead and, and become a Patreon and support the channel over there in these times where obviously there's a lot of censorship going on or uh, support us on Ko-Fi as well. If anybody needs energy work or wants to have a Vedic uh, astrology chart done or any sort of reading done, we are more than happy to provide that as well. So my friends, I look forward to your comments. Like, share, subscribe. God bless and namaste. Namaste.